Ray here, NorCal Bees, and I've uh, been getting a lot of requests lately for a video on how to build the hive stands that we uh, typically build for our clients and for ourselves. And so, um, first thing we do is we look for a site. You know, ideally you want morning sun, um, but more importantly is, is how is it gonna affect, you know, the people that are living here. And so we chose this spot right here. It doesn't get a lot of sun, it gets some, but it has a great, you know, area here for the bees to come out and they'll start heading up. And so they will not disturb anybody at all. It's a really kind of a cool place for the bees. And, uh, and so we've chosen this spot. So the first thing I do is I put down a four by four in a general area of where I want to go. Um, we're going to rake all this stuff out of the way. Um, the next thing I do is I take my two blocks, my outside blocks, and I set them up here and here. And so I'm using the four by four to guide where I want my blocks to go. So this way I can set my blocks exactly where I want them to go. Okay, and so before we do that though, I need to clear out all this um, debris here. So let's got do all that. this space cleared up. And like I was saying, we use the four by four to guide where our blocks are so we know exactly where we want them to go. Once we get that, we can move this out of the way. And then I just take my shovel and I go along the whole edge. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to make it a little bit bigger. That marks the ground and then we're going to do it on the same thing and then we're going to remove some of the dirt. And as we remove the dirt, we'll start to level the block. If the dirt is really soft, then we'll backfill it in with some base rock. But generally, you don't have to do that. All right, so we have this in the general depth we want. And so another thing that's kind of important to do is you want to tamp this down. Now you can get a tamper, you know, but I just use these cinder blocks. They work very well to just tamp this ground around. We wanted to get it kind of as firm as possible. Um, And then, like I said, we'll start leveling our blocks um, both this way and that way. Um, we brought some base rock with us just because I had some and it just makes leveling that much easier. You could totally just use the dirt to level this block the way you want it, okay? Okay, we got the block sloping forward. We got it leveled side to side. It's in line with the other block where we want it. And so now what I'm gonna do is you can, like I said, you can totally do this with dirt, and I usually do do it with dirt, but I have some base rock here, so we're just going to use that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this around the edge, and then I'm going to get a 2x4, and I'm just going to tap it down. So I'm going to secure this block into this, this hole we just made. And then uh, we'll be ready to go do the next one. All right, so we're starting to get our block situated down here. One of the things I also do is I check it this way, so I know which one I have to lower more than the other one. Um, and since this one's already in the ground, by the time we lower that one down, it should be pretty level. This is not that critical. If it's, if it's a little higher, low one way, this way, it's, it's not as important. What is important is we want these blocks sloping forward. Well, actually, we're going to have them sloping this way because the bees are going this way. You always want it sloping about a quarter inch per foot downhill so when it rains, the water doesn't run to the back of the hive. So this is gonna be the front of the hives. And so we're gonna have our blocks going about a quarter inch per foot this way. And that's not critical either. It could be a little more, a little less. You just, you know, this is bees, remember. It's not, it's not a piano we're building. All right, and one more thing, what I usually first do is I crown this board to see which way it's bowing. It's always bowing one way or another. And if you look down the edge, you can see which way it's bowing. And this one, this is the top of the, of the crown right here, the crown of the board. So this, this board is bowing like this. So over time, the weight will kind of level that out. So we'll make an X and we'll put an arrow. And so we know this is the way we want this board to sit. We got uh, this block, uh, we got tamped down the base rock around the block. 
tamp down a little bit on the inside of it there. And then I just put dirt around it and used my foot to kind of uh, tamp it down. Daniel here is uh, tamping down this base rock. And like I said, I generally just use dirt. So you don't need to get base rock. But if you want to do it, it definitely is the better way to do it. Um, so yeah, so then we're going to do that. And then we'll be uh, centering our, uh, our center block. And then once we get that all done, then we're going to actually assemble our frame. All right, so now we have both our ends done. They're securely in the ground. I got our four by fours on here. These are eight footers, so I measured four feet. Um, and like I said, we don't, we're not building a piano here, so it doesn't gonna be exact. So I know that, uh, you know, I put these four by fours on the back edge and the front edge of my um, blocks here. And then I'm just gonna mark this on both sides here. with my shovel at four foot. And now we'll go ahead and set this block. And it's all right if this block's a little bit lower, like an eighth or a quarter inch lower. I mean, not a quarter inch, but an eighth inch, a little bit lower, because this, this is gonna settle over time. So you just don't want it too high. I mean, obviously you'd like to get it right where it's at, but if it's a little bit low, that's okay too. All right, so now we're gonna set this block and then we'll be ready to start building our stand. All right, so we got our center block secured. We're going to uh, use the rest of that base rack, tamp it around there, put the dirt in like we did on the other ones, but it's where we want right now. Um, and so now all that's really left to do is to put our end caps on and um, screw that to the back side, and you know, this, this one will be done. So you gotta check this. Even though they say it's eight footers, a lot of times it'll be eight foot one inch. And so you gotta make sure both pieces are the same length. Otherwise you can't form a rectangle, at least a square rectangle. Since I didn't get this at Home Depot because the line was around the block because of the pandemic, these are actually actually right at eight footers. And I'm sure they got a square cut too. But we'll check them for square and then we will cut our blocks to fit on the end. We want our four by fours just on the outside, just like that. It's usually right around 16 inches, 15 and three quarters. Um, and so we'll cut two pieces, 15 and three quarters, and we will screw it to the end of this. And uh, we'll be ready to start putting our hives on. Okay, so we're getting ready to put our end caps on. Um, one thing I didn't mention is you always wanna use pressure treated. This is obviously is not because the little hardware store didn't have pressure treated two by fours. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it on so we can finish this up. And then when I come back next time, I'll swap these out with pressure treated. You can even, you know, like the ones at my house, I actually will even put on another coat of uh, wood preservative on top of this, just, just, just to make it that much, you know, better. So um, I put one screw in each side of that end. You don't wanna screw it all up until you get it uh, right where you want it. So that's it. We're going to finish screwing these both these ends off and then we'll get ready to stick our hives on here. Sometimes I put another one on underneath here. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I don't have the pressure treated, but I'll put it right up against this block and underneath, you know, so I obviously take this off. I mark my mark it underneath. I take this off, flip it over, screw the two by four flat this way. Um, and that's just to give it a little extra strength. Um, we'll do that when we come back next time. But uh, yeah, this hive stand is just about done. Now it starts to do the installation. We have all this equipment here and uh, we're gonna be installing two nukes. This is actually for a client who uh, um, we're gonna maintain bees for on their property. All right, Surfer Ray, NorCal Bees, thanks for watching. We might go work the bees. Listen, I'll walk away. Uh, he might come to work the bees. We don't know. Or Daniel. What does Uncle Ray do? Uncle Ray has bees. Yeah.